Cash processing allows merchants to keep all of their transaction reporting, even if it didn't run through the gateway, in one place. So the gateway supports credit card and check processing, and for those transactions, they actually are processed through the gateway, they're sent to the processor, authorizations happen, and we get a response, and the transaction needs to be recorded. And so that is all in the gateway, and that's great. But sometimes customers are going to pay with cash. And for those, it's nice to have a way for merchants to keep all reporting in one place. And so for that, we have cash processing. And so cash doesn't have as many transaction types as the other payment methods. So if we go to the main menu, we can see it just does sales, refunds, and credits. And so a sale is the customer giving the merchant money. A refund is the merchant giving that money back for a transaction that previously happened. And a credit is the merchant just giving cash to the customer with no previous transaction to reference. Let's look at a sale. Now, I've customized this page to have very little showing because cash transactions are simple. They don't need to be very complicated. So I'm only looking at the amount, the customer's name, email address, and maybe an order ID. So if a customer is in front of me and they have a $10 bill to pay, I can just enter $10 and I'll note here that they were John Smith. And there we go. I can enter their email address if I want to contact them. I can enter an order ID if that's important, but I just want to get a $10 transaction in my reporting. I also have a currency up here. I only have USD on this account, but if you want, you can allow the merchants to take as many currencies as they like. Most merchants will only take one currency, but you have the flexibility to give them more. So I'm going to record this and this transaction will of course approve because it's cash. It's always going to approve. <laughs> so you get a very basic receipt like all other transactions. You can print it, you can email it. Now you can't create a recurring subscription based on a cash sale. And that's obviously because you don't want automatic cash transactions to happen because there's no way for that to automatically occur. Uh, you want cash transactions to always be manual. Similarly, the customer vault, the vault is intended to let you store the sensitive customer information in a safe way. Uh, with cash, there's no sensitive information, so it's not able to be added here. So you can create an order template, but order templates are consistent across credit card, check, and cash. They're just transaction information, so you are able to create those. Now, if I go to my reporting, I'm going to do a search for today's transactions, and this transaction will show up. It was a cash sale, and for John Smith, $10, and that's it. So totally like all your other transactions, if I had credit card and check sales as well, it would show right in line with those, which is really convenient. If I click into it, I'll see the normal receipt page, and I can, of course, do a charge against sale if I want to charge this customer again. It'll do another cash sale for them. And if I want to refund them, the refund process is exactly the same as all others. We have a transaction ID, an amount, and run a refund. There we go. If I go back to my reporting, show today's transactions, then we have a refund up top. So that's how cash works. Uh, again, it's not sent anywhere. There's no validation of serial numbers or anything on the bills. It's very much a feature intended to let merchants have a single source where all of their reporting lives and they don't have to look in the gateway for these transactions in another piece of software for these transactions on a slip of paper for cash transactions like it all should be in one place and cash processing while not totally necessary is going to be useful for a lot of merchants